low battery. But how do I charge the battery? Just making a quick order on bodybuilding.com. My mom is dying to try some of the vegan protein, so we're gonna send her some and surprise her. Welcome, mom. Looking at my first meal of the day, my favorite meal from Bite Meals is just the egg whites, the bacon, and the pancakes. Absolutely freaking delicious. I like to heat it up in a skillet a little bit just to get a little crispy after being in the fridge. And then it comes with a little packet of syrup. Which also having one of these because they're the best things ever. someone on social media right now that like, well, maybe they're a good fit, but they're just not there yet. And mentorship, see, so they're learning, so they can come to the, any workshop. <clears throat> Alright, so I am just getting to Hollywood. I am getting my hair extensions pushed up at Bellamy, Be Bellamy Beauty Bar in Hollywood right now. So, um, just quickly, I wanted to mention that I have seen a couple of videos in the last, like, week or so from bigger YouTubers, people who have way bigger YouTube channels than I do, and some smaller YouTube channels. Like, this is happening to Chelsea Lifts. I've seen Rob Lipset post about it. I've seen Jasmine Garcia post about it. Um, apparently, YouTube is having a huge glitch where people are posting videos and then those videos are like getting a bunch of views and then the views decline and then people are also posting videos and then immediately getting a bunch of people unsubscribed to their channel without them knowing it. So it's not people clicking the unsubscribe button because they're like, shit, this video sucks, I don't want to be subscribed anymore. It's just that YouTube is like deleting people from the su their subscription feed. So. YouTube also isn't posting people's videos to the homepage or on the sidebar and the only way to get people to see your videos is if they click on subscriptions or if they're notified to your email list. So if you go to my channel and click the little button next to the subscribe button that looks like a bell, you can click that and then you can get an email to your sent to your email saying when I'm posting a video and I'm pretty positive that that's the only way to prevent this from happening. Like, it hasn't happened to me yet, but it's pretty devastating to a lot of YouTubers who put the time and effort into making content and wanting to grow their channel and wanting to get more subscribers to their channel to watch their content. It's really frustrating when YouTube is having this glitch where it's just like shutting down people's channels like this. So I do post every other day, so you guys know exactly what I'm posting. And if you don't see my video in your subscription feed every other day, then you know it's just not showing up and you have to like go find my channel. Um, yeah. Just letting you guys know that so this is about what I'm looking like this morning and mind you today is the day after a food challenge the day after I ate my way through Los Angeles with Travis and it was absolutely amazing but this is what I'm looking like today I am officially I know I've said this once before but I'm officially officially getting back on track today tracking my macros and just getting back to a routine I talked to my coach about this and we do want to potentially be in the 125 weight class for my powerlifting meet although I'm not stressing out about making a weight class for the meet I do feel my most comfortable and most optimal strength wise and uh, aesthetics like my body wise at about 125 or so which is about 10 pounds up from where I am stage leanness and right now I'm about 135 or so if I wasn't confident with it where I am right now and like still loving my body at every stage I probably wouldn't be showing you guys a physique update I would probably just be continuously posting pictures on my Instagram like throwbacks from my prep and stuff like that and I try not to do that just because I want to show you guys like realness and real people in real life did need that time and I wanted that time and I took the time to just not track get off I didn't just like let myself go or anything like that um it was just like a mental reset for me and I think it's completely necessary to do that from time to time when you've been competing and stuff like that for such a long time mentally resetting and gaining a bit of weight is probably a good thing for me and I'm super happy that I did it but it is now time to pull the reins back just a little bit um you'll be surprised at how much can change by just simply getting back on track not even like getting into a deficit I'm probably not going to be in a deficit but just getting back to tracking or like paying closer attention to what you're eating and being more mindful it's crazy the amount of changes that can happen by just doing one little thing you don't have to dive bomb into a huge caloric deficit to see changes in your body so what i'm doing now aside from my regular powerlifting training which is what you guys have been seeing i'm just going to be adding in two high intensity cardio sessions per week they're going to be super short 15 minutes long top so probably about like 
10 sprints or so with a bit of a warm up and a cool down. I'm going to be back to tracking macros. It's just gonna be one macro range. I'm not gonna have high and low carb days or anything, but I'm gonna be hitting about 50 to 55 grams of fat, 165 to 175 grams of carbs, placing those carbs uh, around my workouts to make sure that I'm performing as best as I possibly can. About 90 to 100 grams of protein or so, and with the protein, I was previously at like 125 and keeping it around there, but um, I'm, I'm trying to like, adjust my calories in terms of like having a little bit of a higher carb intake so I could perform a little bit better. And um, you don't necessarily need one gram per pound of body weight protein like everyone says all the time. Um, you can probably actually have a little bit less and still and still be very healthy and have like the amount of protein that's right for your body, but you don't necessarily need a ton of protein to maintain muscle mass. The plan is to have three bigger protein boluses a day, so like three meals with protein in them, and then placing my carbs around my workouts, things like that, and then doing the two cardio sessions a week. That's what I'm doing to get started, to get back on track. We'll see what happens with my weight. Again, I'm not gonna stress about it, but I would like to kind of just pull the reins back a little bit, and that's what's going on. You are still here? What are you doing here still, Travis? It's like, I can't stop laughing. Okay, you just support my shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were so close. Put your hands back. Hold on to Put your arms back. Yoga. Yes. We're so close. No, we're so close. Put your arms. Extend. Extend your arms. In motion. Extend your arms. Extend my shoulders. Yeah, we got it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the egg white omelet. Um, I'm gonna put in mushroom, onion, spinach, um, fresh basil, and salsa on the side. And then I'm gonna do, do a, a side of the mixed vegetables and then something else. I get that cooked with no butter oil. Thank you very much. So now that I'm back to tracking my macros, I am going to be tracking this meal. So I'm going to go ahead and track about 25 grams of protein. Travis is going to allow me to eat one of his pancakes. So I'm going to track one pancake, which I'm going to like find in my fitness pal. And I'll show you guys on the side of the screen what I found and what I ended up tracking. Alright, so we got an egg white omelet. Travis, are you going to let me eat one of your pancakes? Absolutely. Yes? What did I get? You you have to speak for me. You got regular pancakes and like a side of, a side of egg whites? Yeah. Is that it? I think so. That's it? That's it. Oh, whatever. Okay, cool. Friends just left, and I'm not gonna lie, to say that I'm kind of drained is like an understatement right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some pre-workout. Um, I'm not positive as to whether or not the new PE Science pre-workout is released, but by the time you guys see this, I'm pretty sure most of you know, or most of you who did order on Black Friday got some samples of this, so Prolific is coming out on December 27th. Super excited about it. Um, I've been taking this pre-workout since I went to headquarters in Tampa. Let me make you guys straight. Here we go. So ever since I went to um, headquarters in Tampa, I got to try some of this because it's not released yet. And let me tell you guys, it's like absolutely amazing. So, um, I also got a new water bottle from Trimmer, T-R-I-M-R. -R. Um, these are absolutely amazing. They have a straw, so that's really nice. I don't have to like open anything and the straw is just right there. So this is going to the dome and then we're gonna go lift. Well, we did just get here, uh, here as in the gym. So today what we're gonna do, we have some deadlifts to do today. This week is gonna be kind of like a testing week, not necessarily testing a one rep max or anything, but there is one way you can do to test to see where your strength is at right now. Um, I've been doing the same reps and set schemes for quite some time now and I've been just trying to move up in weight since I kind of started from ground zero once I ended my bikini prep. So today we're gonna be testing the waters just a little bit. So normally I've been doing four sets of five, but on my fourth set, instead of doing a set of five, I'm gonna be doing a plus set, which is essentially just however many reps that I can get. Essentially, I'm just gonna pick that weight that I did last week um, for sets of five, and then at, after that, I'm gonna see how many reps I can get for 175. So I'm gonna try to push the weight just a little bit. I'm feeling pretty good. Yesterday was the food challenge with Travis, so I have a lot of food in me, I have a lot of energy, feeling kinda good. Pre-workout is hitting me, so I'm gonna get into the gym.
we finished our three working sets and next we're going to do the plus set. So I'm going to do the same exact weight to see what I can get for, we'll find out. We got 175 for eight reps. So I probably had a little bit more left in the tank, but I was rounding my back, so I didn't push it. Um, I just kept it together until I felt my form kind of breaking. Finishing the rest of my workout now. Decision, what cereal do I want? Never know what to get. Never know. Look out far and wide, no cloud I can see. Across air, land, and sea, with your sand on my feet. Nowhere else I can be. No matter what time of day, I'll be there for you anyway. In a very better world, down at the beach. Christmas was a big box at my door. So, um, Damn girl, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Why do they put a box inside of a box? Like, why don't they just send this box? Like Christmas for oh myself! Cold people this night. Half off, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't. Yes! Yes! Wait, okay, I'm gonna take this. <laughs> your Espresso. Um, on my way to frock your milk. <laughs> no, that's so gross. <laughs> cheapest coffee maker on Amazon that I could possibly find, this other one. <sighs> Alright, next meal, oatmeal, and I have like an entire apple and some peanut butter in here and that's gonna cap me off for the night. Emily's here! Hey! And Venya's here! You guys would've saw Venya if I didn't delete my Thanksgiving oh, footage. Yeah. He was here for a Thanksgiving, watch but go watch his video and um, watch Karen's video frozen? and watch it's probably done. Emily's Sorry, video. It's probably good. Emma's crying. Oh, chicken. You literally said, are we funny? I'm crying. I'm like... <laughs> are we funny? Are we funny? I don't know. Are we What's funny? What's the password? Fuck that. Wow. 1869. I don't know. 1869? Is that what it is? I don't know why it says 69. Like... So, gifts that we actually hate. Sway. <laughs> Uh, Make sure you're not looking at the. Your face is barely in it. Oh my bad. Look at, look at the actual lens. Are we, what kind of faces are we making? Ah! Uh, the pow! Say just, pay, just say pow. 